one and every night, you know, where he's at, not hearing anything from him. Mr. King wondered for years. His family saw a Maribel update online with the names of others unclaimed. He saw his father's name, and he couldn't believe it. I'm thankful for the story that was done on it. Amongst a series of names, it meant nothing. The one that meant everything. Lee Henry King. Is this really true? I mean, you know, I guess it really dawns on you that it really is true. Walter King found his boy, Lee King, 54, at the morgue since 2007. Lee once painted a portrait of promise, a Kettering grad, 74, football scholarship to Western Michigan. It fizzled in the fog of the wrong path chosen. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know. They bid him farewell with change is going to come. Yes, I sleep better now. It is a miracle. It is a miracle. If Lee King had been buried, his name never would have been in that story. He waited for them. And they did find him. Perry Funeral Home, this is Betsy. Betsy Deek, Perry Funeral Home. Oh boy. Here they deal with maybe a hundred unclaimed a year. Lee King's a good example, lost touch with everyone. When found, his family couldn't afford burial. The Kings got a $600 state voucher, not enough to cover the simplest $900 cremation. The Maribel Fund then stepped in. Your money. We as a people care about our dead. It's not like other countries where dead bodies are put into ditches with lime. We really care. The Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office investigative files. How can I help you? Here, working to reunite in death persists. Neil Harden, partially eaten by critters here since May of 06. The 61st unknown of 07 died of smoke inhalation, a 24-year-old. So I like to think that a 16 to 25 year of age person, somebody out there knows them. Then there's Floater. Found in the Detroit River in August of 07, he's as young as 16. He had dental work found in the river, so he may not be a U.S. citizen, but he's surely someone to someone. It bothers me because of that age particularly. There's a lot that bothers Chief Investigator Samuels, Detroit's Death Shepherd. This story starkly cut contrasts as black and white, Jew and Gentile, strangers matched in a mitzvah, a good deed. The contrast played out graveside as viewer Chris Burton performed his sentiment. Not the soul, soul, so moved. There were reams of email, call after call, it all surmised by Norm, the suburban sales guy who dropped the flowered note and said this as a stranger at Maribel's farewell. I didn't know Maribel at all, just like the rest of you. I will take her with me for the rest of my life. I will... I will always take great care of my family, but I will take better care of my community. I mean... Amen. A county spokesman says our stories led to coverage that spanned the land and beyond Germany, Japan, and more. In the end, a half dozen families located lost loved ones at the morgue. Our fund motivated another. More than a dozen bodies laid to rest. And the morgue looked at itself and changed age-old policies. They're currently in the process of awarding a cremation contract and plan to donate other bodies for education. No more stonewalled at death's door. One problem solved. Yet it's an unwritten end. What's next? That's up to you, city of champions.